Hi there, in this tutorial we are going to use the Redux with Redux Toolkit in our Next.js project with TypeScript. So let's see how can you do that. So for that I am going to my desktop creating a new project and I am using the PMPM package. So Next.js 13 app do i use typescript yes yes link yes tell in css yes source directory no default router yes and no need to customize the default import so it will download my project in a minute Now my application is downloaded, uh, my Next.js app downloaded, so open my code editor, 30 Next.js 13, actually it should be Redux app. So if I open my console. click control click this link it will open new browser new tab now my next.js app is running but if i go if i refresh my page i will see there is an error this error is the so I have installed sub plugin in my browser like Redux Dev Tool. So similar, similarly, this this is the error comes from this type of plugin. So let's go to our project. At first, let's go app page and remove the default. home and it will be if I save my file refresh my page I can see the default style is still applied and the error message appears so let's fix this problem for that I have to go to my layout and inside this layout I have to remove this error for that I have to use the uh, suppress hydration warning it will be true and remove the style no need global CSS no need this one and this one and my app is a little bit type let's I, mean, I am typing in online and let's put this type here actually it will be props and this props will be props and here i type so it will be children P R O props and if I save my file and if I refresh my page I can see my start removing and my error has gone this error is nothing this error is the Firefox browsers error it is not a error so our page is running now let's install the Redux toolkit so for that I have to go to my Actually, it is a PNPM. Actually, it is add, and I have to need the add Redux JS R E D D U X J slash toolkit, and I need another library called React Redux. React Redux. It will download. Let's create our 
Redux project in my outside my app. And let's create a store will be configure configure store and it need a reducer and let's create a slice for that let's create a user slice and let's pass an uh, empty object so at, at it says the let's create the user slice for that i have to go to my store and create a slice here slice slash user dot ts and it will be CRE at create slice from the redux toolkit and it need take an argument first on name will be the user and initial state will be the initial state let's create the initial state initial state will be loading will be false actually error will be string so and we need third argument called reducers and it is an empty string empty object for now so let's we know that create redux uh, create slice return two things so to put on object and first one is the reducer and second one is the actions so we need the reducer to export so export default reducer so our reducer is ready but let's add some types for my initial state so let's create state will be these two type but it will be boolean it will be string and apply the type here initial state now my slice is ready let's apply this slice here import user slice from slice slash user and now apply the user slice here now uh, my store is complete so let's export this ex store actually let's export direct here name export now my store is ready now apply this store in my app so i have to use if i try to use only the home page then i have to wrap this home page but i need to apply my redux store for entire project so for that i have to use the in the layout page so if i try to use a store here like this way actually not here it will be inside body now if i try to export here like provider comes from the next library lives provider actually it should become from the react redux i install the react redux so it will be like import provider provider from react react redux and this provider needs the uh, store a store will be a store that we create in my store application uh, a store directory this one here yeah. but the problem is that if i do so it will throw it will throw error because my layout 
in Next.js 13, every component is the server component and the provider must be client component. So I, I have to convert this page as a client component if we need to use the provider here. But I do not want to do that because this page or this layout page should be used in every page. So if I make this page as a client component, then my entire project will be as a client component. But so that we do that we do not want. So I have to create a separate component for this provider and and create that component as a child component. Uh, sorry, as a client component, and then I will apply here. So let's go to my store, and if I create here provider dot tsx it will be the react function component whatever react function component it will be uh, provider actually it will be uh, redux Redux provider. Now I have to put this provider here instead of here. So it will be provider from the React Redux, and I have to store. Store will be store. Now I have to provide a child component from here. So I have to use the child component. Children will be. Let's provide the type props type will be props and it will be C H I L D R children will be react dot react node now I have to pass the children inside my children and make this component as a client component so let's create this use client now i have to import this provider in my uh, layout page so instead of here i have to put the let's remove this line and i have to use the redux provider redux provider from the store and i have to wrap the child here this is the original one or the actual one to use the redux so if i save my file if i go to my browser if i refresh the page i can see my redux dev tool is active that means our uh, story is applied so if i go to my hair if i go to redux app I can see my user slice is available though there is nothing anything so let's improve our user slice little bit let's try to read our store for that I have to go to my close this one this one and the user slice we need little bit let's try to read our store so for that if I try to use like if i try to dispatch something like c when is constant dispatch will be use this patch from the react redux and in let's create a button it will be the u double t1 button it will be get user or add user or whatever name let's add a event listener on click and this click handler will be handle user add handle user add and if i need to dispatch something like dispatch type will be loading or requested requested 
and the payload will be object like user let's create a user uh, let's for them create a dummy user user will be actually let's user data because we will create new user from the store so if i do so let's id will be one name will be my name if i do so to handle the dispatch actually i i am creating the user slice so this user slice like if i if i save my file if i ah again this page is again is a server component and i am using the client uh, on click handler that means the user actions and also the dispatch that means when we need anything like user actions like click handler or the any react hook then we must convert this page into a client component again we do not want to create the entire page as a client component i have to create only these two property this uh, we have to create separate component with this two element and then create this two element as a client component and then apply in the home page but for simplicity it is not a, a Redux uh, tutorial it is a redux tutorial so i will focus only the redux part so let's create the component as a client component client if i save my file now if i click this button i can see that my it will show nothing because my dispatch does not reach to my status uh, store so i have to create my store for that so let's handle my reducer state here let's create the actually my name will be user slash created let's add a user with prefix user slice and to act active this user slice i have to create the requested here it will be requested it will be an function and let's return it takes two argument on is state another is action but for now we no need the action so we only need a state so a state and loading will be true because it is the requested so if i save my file and this time my requested will be as a user slash requested if i click this button and go to my i can see that my user appears if i go to i can see my initial state value was false but this time it is a true if i go to my actions i can see i am passing actually i am passing data but i am not using this data just try to update my user uh, loading to true so actually huh. now i dispatch something but if i try to uh, read my data store from the here so if i click constant let's reading the loading or everything as a store will be a store now it will be a state a state will be use use selector and it will be a state dot a state and we create the user slice in my component i am creating the user slice so i have to use a state dot user but i can see that i cannot access the user because i do not have the type for this state but i can use if i save my file let's console log this state actually let's show the state here below pre json dot stringify 
and it will be the state null and two. If I save my file, I can see my whole state appears. But if I try to access my state only, if I try to only access the user section or user slice, I cannot because type script throw an errors. Le uh, now I have to create the type for the this user. So for that I have to go to my store. I have to create two types. One for the state and another to read the state and another for the dispatch. Though in here it does not throw the errors. Actually e, this one. Here we need to pass the proper type. Uh, else it will throw an errors. So let's see how can we do that in two things. For that I have to create the type will be app root app or app root it will be actually it will be store dot get state not store type will be root app is equal to store dot uh, why I can, cannot get it will be store store I am getting the error. Let's str store dot get state. Now I have to type root or app root this way, and it will be type of get state because I do not need my type for the project so i need sorry i do it, it is a function so if i use this way it will return the function but i do not need to return the function i need to return the return value of that function for that i have to here it will be return function return sorry r e t -E return type it will be this way yeah, so it is the my app root. So I need my dispatch another one for dispatch. So it will be type uh, app G I A double P app dispatch will be type of store dot get state. Uh, sorry, store dot dispatch. Now I have to export this type here actually both export export now if I go to my page I can use here like it was the name was the app dispatch uh, root app a app root so I have to use here if I go here if I type app double ot root actually it should be autocomplete let's go to export export it's in wrap and then put the type it will be app, app root now my app root comes from my store and then if I try to use my dot user i can see my auto compilation works and also if i type instead of state i if i type user here it will also works so let's put the user instead of the whole state now if i save my file if i go to my it will work exactly but this time i will get only the user slice now my store is complete but if I go to my user slice, I do not handle anything. So let's handle another one, one for requested, uh, create another one for success, success scenario. For that, succeed, it will be again and function and return object. So I will return the same state and action and I will return 
it will be original state then loading will be false then user will be action dot payload action dot payload but here my action has any that means it is the value of any so i have to type my proper action type for that i it, it will be payload action payload action type from the redux toolkit and then i have to pass the user the data i require so let's create a user user let's create the user here type user will be uh, user should be on id and it will be a string actually i created this user in my no i do, did not create so it will be id and another one it will be name for example it will be again a string and let's create our user very simple or email email it again a string my this is my user slice so i in my action dot payload in my action dot payload i must have the user so let's uh, i am creating the user property but my user property not in my available in my state so let's create the user here user will be initial value will be null but as soon as i do that my type script is uh, throw error because i do not have user here so i have to create the user it will be user or null so if, if has user then has user or null so now my success scenario is handled so instead of the error is my dispatch now instead of the hard coding dispatch let's create our dispatch from here it will be constant at user user will be one function and we already talked about that this dispatch can have two two function that means it is a closer and first user will be the user it will be the user and user will be the user type that we created in my top and then it will be the dispatch dispatch and dispatch type will be app dispatch that we created in my app dispatch in my store store.js so i have to use the app, app dispatch now inside this app inside this function i ha i will uh, try to update my state so i it will be dispatch and inside this dispatch i have the actions so in this action will we have the available all the property so it will be actions dot i can see the succeed scenario and here i will pass the user now let's uh, show the error scenario or that loading scenario so I, I have to use the requested and requested does not nothing requires so that is the error and if i put put any errors then it will be the error type though i am creating uh, error or error or failed failed i am creating nothing yet so let's create the fail scenario for that i have to copy paste the same line uh, at comma and it will be failed and this time the payload when we fail our payload will be an string that means that like something uh, user not in the found or anything anything like this so it will be string so instead of the uh, user it will be string and user user will be null but error will be the string if i now if i comment out uh, comment out this one now i can see there is no error but i will only show the dispatch here when our error appears that means if i 
try to use here try catch ball hook here or and here will be the dispatch like this one now i have my at user available so i have to create my uh, i can dispatch this app user like here instead of hard coding user i have to press like dispatch it will be at user actually name was name was at user so it will be at user at u s e r actually a w at u s e r uh, i do not export maybe huh? i do not export so it will be export and then if i try to i can see my auto compilation comes and i will call this function and i have to pass the user here uh, it will be user data but it is throws error because it says that i am missing uh, whatever it says that i am missing the email property because in my user slice uh, sorry user type i has the id name and email and here i am passing all the only the id and name that is the reason it throws the error email will be abc at the rate of gmail.com if i do so now i can see i have an uh, i have a problem because in my dispatch i do not have the type so i have to use the it will be app dispatch like this one now i can see my error has gone if i save my file if i go to my page and it if i click this button i can see i am getting the user value here now here i am creating uh, hard coded uh, property or i am passing the property type for every user or every sorry every dispatch or every selector so instead of this user and selector i will create a new uh, hook for the do be for these two things so let's create the hook so let's go to my page and inside the store i will create another file it will be hooks so it will be hooks.ts now let's create two hooks for my two dispatch or two actions first one use dispatch so let's go to my hook it will be uh, use use dispatch here and i i have to call the i if i need to pass like if i need to pass my use dispatch i have to call this dispatch so i have to call this this way and as soon as i do that let's see on oh, constant app it will be app disp dispatch but as soon as let's pass the whatever it name was app dispatch so it will be app dispatch like this one but when i do that it will my app dispatch will be an return value but i do not know want to the return value the app dispatch must be an object uh, function so for that i have to create this way it will solve my yeah sorry it will create my app dispatch and i have to create another one for my use selector so let's create another one for use selector constant it will be uh, use app selector so use app selector will be is equal to use app selector is equal to uh, use selector and this time my app selector will be type typed uh, use app selector hook and then i have to pass my same type let's see the my type my type was the uh, app root so it will be app root now actually it will be the use 
use app selector instead of app selector use sorry it will be use app use app selector not it will be use app dispatch use app dispatch so i have to now i have to dispatch or two types for these two properties uh, two hooks so let's export this to one uh, to e x export this one export this one and instead of this this two line i can create uh, access my cn is constant dis dispatch will be use app dispatch in my from my hook so i can comment out this line that like i can see that i do not need to pass app dispatch to dispatch something so i can see this works now i will create the another one like this one but this time i will use use app selector from the hook and it will be a state state dot user i can see import this way or actually here i do not use the user uh, if i do this actually it has the error this way if i remove the user here user now if i save my file uh, user have appends ah i have user so if i save my file actually let's re uh, remove the, all the comments uh, sorry all the uh, comments or unused used properties if i save my file if i go to my browser now i can see my user appears that means it is the uh, custom type custom hook for my uh, instead of hard coding hook so it, it solve the this problem now i have to handle my action uh, fail scenario i do not handle the fail scenario though it will create the fail let's consume our api for that let's create our api in my app i can create api directory and inside i need to access the user by id so i have to create the users slash then id slash uh, so dot then route.ts this is the nexus 13 y to create the slice it looks like if i try to access the api like slash api slash users slash id that means the two or one whatever so for that i have to create the api directory inside the api directory users and inside the users in app uh, id this way and then i have to route so let's clear the route for that it will be the function like get so in the get i have the return value so res actually it will be next response next response dot json because we need always json to fetch data so i have like a status it will be sorry it will be success and the data that means user will be or the data data will be the user uh, let's at first let's pass the empty data or nothing i have to return this value so returns this response and i have to export this function to work as api so if i go to let's check how i get get this response or not if i save my file if i go to my page it will be localhost 3000 api slash users slash 2 let's console log my at first let's see what i we get if i enter I can see I am getting the same response. Now I am passing my user data like user ID. So let's how can we access this user ID in Nexus 13 has two property here. One will be the request and request will be 
request type and another one will be context so i can use the as a yeah, params this way params will be the type i can type like this way params dot id will be a string and if i uh, console log it will be id will be params dot id if i save my file if i try to refresh this space again i can see my id appears here but it will create a lot of mess because when i use the type it will it like this line will be goes very long so let's at first let's handle our error at first i will try to add the type later now in my uh, type in my i have this one that means id name and email this three property so i need in my route i need and return the same thing for that if i try to return like uh, id one actually id i am getting the id so id will be the id so id will be pr params dot id and second name let's pass the hard coded name actually i will get the name from my body request or actually it is a get request so let's pass the hard coded name and later we will fish this name from the database but now for hard coded value and another one for email but i am not passing the email here let's type the email see actually my email javascript for everything at the rate of gmail.com but i am copy making the this property as a comment so let's see that how can we access uh, this get method in my app for that i have to use my click handler let's fix the app here let's comment out everything for now and fish it will be the user and user uh, we know that api slash users slash id and let's pass the id for now let's pass the two i am passing the hard coding value let's see in my second argument it is the method but it is a get get request so i do not need anything else so i have to constant response will be it is a permit so await and it make sure function is asynchronous and then i have to response.json because i am returning as a json so i am parsing as a json again it is a permit so i have to use the this so it will be await let's constant user as a user and let's console log the user if i do so let's go to my app refresh the page if i click this button i can see i am getting my user data from my backend that means status and data and data is the user id but i do not have the proper type let's type here user dot i can see i cannot have the types because in my fish api i do not apply the type so let's get the type for that i have to export like in my app i am using the user here so let's export this user export the user type and add the user type here uh, it will be json as user fish the user from the user slice uh, user slice so if i now try to type user dot i can see my auto completion for the right actually it is the type casting it is called type casting so i am typing the user but 
in my response i do not have the email like in my response response have because in my response i do not use the proper types for the type script so let's see what happens if i do so uh, let's console log uh, let's instead of console log here i use the email will be user dot email if i save my file click this user i can see my email appears nothing but type script do, does not throw error because i am type casting not proper type because the json uh, fish api does not have the has the proper type it used this way so uh, uh, for to fix this error or fix this problem i have to properly type in this my uh, return value so let's see how can you do that for that i have to create response type here that means it will be this way actually let's it will be uh, next js response and it will be my data uh, let's create my response here uh, it will be my response and my response was these two things that means one will be a status sta sta status will be either success actually not success 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 or it will be failed so let's and another one for my user so actually not user it is the data and data will be the user uh, let's for now pass the hard coded value user and i have to import the user from the same user slice but in real scenario we will use the separate file for all the types in my project but for now i am using the same place that means the user slice for the type but it is not a best, best practice now i have the response type so i have to apply my response type here it will be let's remove it will be actually my response now as soon as i do that i can see the error because in my user has the email property and i am disabling the email property or i am not passing the email property that is the reason it shows the error if i uncomment this line i can see my error has gone if i save my file now it is properly typed so if i click this button actually i am getting the same error again let's refresh the page if i click this button let's see what i get in my console console user if i click this button my data data has name email i have the email but i do not show the email i don't know no uh, let's see i have email in my response i can see my email has but if i try to use this way my email does not show let's console log again if i do so i am getting the user but if i try to user this way uh, only the email what i get i get undefined what is the problem let's see because uh, let's see check the problem here in my app because usually the request route is the uh, uh, promise so let's create this it is as a promise so first let's add here asin because most of the time that happen that uh, every gate or post every request must be promised because 
I need some fish data from my backend and that will be promise. So when I do that, I have to get my promise here. So it will be promise and wrap the entire thing as a promise. So it will solve the problem. Let's see now I getting the same user or not. Ah, my data has the email. Am I mistake? E M A I L email. Let's see. I am I mistake or not? No, I have the email. Ah, uh, the problem. I cannot know what is the problem. Let's check out the problem. Actually, I don't not do not know the why the user i can see my user has the data user has the email address but here when i try to access user.email i cannot access the user let's see put the user in my database because uh, sorry in my store read access store so this way let's uh, maybe it will no problem here so let's dispatch here now actually it will be let's rename as a user data user data data because i have another same name in my top that is the reason now i have the user data and i am pushing the user data in my store and i already fish the user from the store and pass the store here so let's see what i get if i save my file if i click this button i can see my user appears fine if i now if i try to access the user like like uh, user dot email that it will be uh, actually it is optional so because my state value in my redux store in my redux store user has two type either uh, user or null so that is the reason uh, my email user is all can be possible null or user so that is the and uh, encryption and let's uh, add a email will be email if i save my file i can i can see my email again <laughs> missing <laughs> missing from here let's update let's get the user i have user email i do not know the problem uh, why i am not getting the user let's put this way uh, i am passing my user here my store has the user i can see my store has the user email exactly the same way in here i console log there but the problem let's see we will uh, uh, check out this problem later but this is the why how can we access our uh, redux store or complete our redux store from the backend and this is the proper type i have to always type like this way but it will create lot of mess let's put little bit complication because i can see my this line is 168 that is not good so for that i can use my at least use this one as a context uh, it will be context type let's create the context type here it will be type con c o n t e x t context it will be the paste the value now i can see little bit com uh, slower if i save my file i will get everything as it is if i refresh my page is the user but is still email missing so let's ignore this email i will try what is the problem later so this is the why how can we use uh, type uh, redux in our type script with next project so let's see in next tutorial or actually it was the last tutorial on my uh, react 
uh, redux for absolute beginner course so let's see in our another playlist